We bought this rundown dresser from the thrift store for $40. I don't like buying painted pieces, but I could tell that the paint job was good enough that it didn't have to be removed. Right off the bat though, the knobs were a pain to remove. The middle piece in the knob wasn't secured to the knob, so when I tried to twist off the nut that held it in place, the metal piece just turned too. So I ended up busting the knobs so then I could get a hold of the metal pieces and unscrew the nuts. Then I cleaned the dresser with crud cutter to remove all of the dirt and grime. And then I started the long process of removing the loose wood veneer, starting with the bottom skirt. I used the putty knife thing to get under all of it and pry it off. Then I worked on the sides. Only a little bit was loose on the sides. And then the top. Most of the top layer came off easily and some of the bottom layer came off as well and then it got hard so i sprayed some water on the top to try to moisten up the wood and to just get it to come off easier while that sat there i moved on to the drawers i absolutely love the detail on these drawers but the veneer was loose and chipping off so i was thinking about making a mold of the design and removing all of the veneer but i kept running into roadblocks with all of the different ideas that i had so I just decided to glue the veneer back on the best that I could. So I used a glue syringe to put the glue between the drawer and the veneer and then I clamped a piece of wood on there to hold the veneer in place as the glue dried overnight. Let me tell you, gluing was definitely easier than pulling all of that veneer up and trying to figure out a mold to keep the design, gluing was the way to go. The next day I placed a wet towel on the top of the dresser and I used a cheap old iron that I use only for stuff like this to loosen up the glue and basically soak the veneer so it would come off easier. I'm not gonna lie, it still took me like over an hour to take off all of the veneer off of the top. But it is so much easier this way than without the towel and the iron. After all of the veneer was finally off the top, I flipped it over and popped off the old broken casters. And then we took the dresser out to the garage and I filled the sides of the dresser with Bondo. Bondo is my go-to filler for large areas of chipped veneer because it just, it spreads so easily. It dries quickly and it dries hard. It's way better than any regular wood filler. It does stink though, so I only use it outside and you have to work really quickly because it sets up fast once you mix the two parts together. On the drawers, I used quick wood to fill the chips because I can mold the quick wood to the right shape that I need. Just like Bondo, it dries really quickly and it dries hard, but it doesn't sink like Bondo does and you can work with it a little bit longer than Bondo and it's not as messy. It's awesome stuff. I came back a couple hours later and sanded those down flush with the wood and had to fill a couple of small spots with wood filler. I sanded the top of the dresser smooth and I even sanded all of the paint off of the edge too. In the crevices I used a flat head screwdriver to chip the paint off and then I sanded by hand where the sander didn't reach. And then I sanded everything else just to make it all feel nice and smooth. There was a lot of sanding. Okay, with all of that out of the way, I moved on to cleaning the piece so we could paint it. I vacuumed up all of the dust and then I used a tack cloth to wipe off any remaining dust. I covered the top of the dresser and then I sprayed two coats of clear shellac. The clear shellac acts kind of like a primer. It helps the paint stick and it prevents bleed through stains from coming through my paint, especially where I sanded down to bare wood. And then I was ready to paint. So for this project, I mixed up a custom color with Melange's all-in-one paint line. I mixed up basically a 50-50 ratio of Basilisk Black and Jacob's Well, with probably a little bit more of the black than the green. And then I poured it into my paint sprayer, mixed in some water, and I sprayed on two coats of paint, letting it dry for a couple of hours between each coat.
After that coat of paint was dry, I could see some spots where you could see the white paint and the texture of the wood grain. So I filled all of that stuff in with wood filler, let that dry, and then I sanded all the wood filler down again. I cleaned up all the dust again, and then I sprayed on my third coat of paint. That was the ticket. So when the paint was dry, I removed the plastic from the top and wiped three coats of some satin water-based polyurethane on to protect it. While that was drying, I tried out a couple of different types of hardware. I tried on some white knobs, some gold knobs, and some black knobs. I was kind of torn between the black and the gold ones, but I think I needed a different style of gold knobs. All right, before I share what this rundown dresser looks like now, please take a second to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps get our videos out to more people and we really appreciate the love. So here's what it looked like before and here is what it looks like now. We went with the black knobs and I absolutely love it. I am so glad that I kept the detail on the drawers and I absolutely love this color and the paint. Man, it is a perfect finish. And this paint is seriously so easy to use. I love it. What do you think? What hardware would you have picked? Let me know in the comments.